this truck's been playing up for a while now. Um, it's had new battery, it's had regulator rectifier, and I think it's even had a new stator, but at different times trying to keep the price down. And it's it's never really been that reliable. Well, I mean, it has in its early days, but um, since it started having charging problems, it's carried on. So I've decided now to go the nuclear option with it and do stator, battery, and regulator rectifier at the same time. Because the problem with doing just regulator rectifier, if there's a problem with the stator, it can then blow the regulator rectifier again and in all cases it'll take the battery out unless it literally stops charging but um, what will commonly happen with them is the regulator rectifier will fail and allow the battery to reverse charge into the stator effectively using the small coils the inner coils of the stator like an electric heater it just literally puts the power of the battery back into the stator and heats up the, the coils and what then happens is they, the, the center coils burn the, uh, the insulation off the wires and they just start to make a short. And you end up with, once the center is gone, it's just not producing the current that it needs to produce to be able to keep the battery charged. So I've kind of already started. Um, I'll go through it, just show you what you've got to do. You've got to undo, in this particular one, because it's a trike, I, I actually haven't. But what you need to do is undo the footrest brackets. I've actually cut off the footrest bracket on this side because the bike's, the trike's got forward control, so it just doesn't need that footrest bracket anymore. And I was finding that these were all seized up. Generally speaking, plenty of WD-40 on them and a good fitting Allen bolt, uh, Allen's key will remove them. But that's the first thing you've got to do is drop this side of the footrest so that you can get into the into this cover okay um, it looks like i can probably leave the exhaust pipe alone looks like it will come out without the exhaust having to come off but what i'm going to do now i've taken the side stand off completely so done away with the need for the side stand switch which is why I've put those two wires together if you do away with the side stand switch this is only really if it's a trike you just connect those two wires back together again and that will then make it think that the side stand is up so what we need to do now is clear these wires this wire here I have to basically take that out of the up the top here it will be connected into into some connectors and then it will go to the regulator rectifier so what I want to do is trace the wires at the top and pull this one through so that I've got it ready for the new I've got a new stator here to go in it and I just need to get it all ready for the new stator so that's where we are so far This one's a bit different than a standard one because obviously it's customized but it's pretty much the same you've got to take the uh, I'll take the seat off and you've got to locate the wires coming from the stator which is those three wires there and there should be yeah those so it's those two plugs there basically this is for the later models. The earlier models would have um, three separate plugs, but the, the rule is the same. Whatever wires are coming out of there will come up here. You have to disconnect them to get the whole wiring out. So what I'm going to do before I go pulling these through, I don't know if it will be a help, but I'm going to do it anyway and see, is I'm going to tie a piece of string to it so that the piece of string goes down back down with the cables and with any luck that will help me to guide the cables up through when I have to put them back up through but it might not work but it's worth a try.
visibility into where the wires are going. What I might end up having to do is actually take the spade connectors out of these plastic holders so that they'll slide down through easier. But we'll give them a go like they are first and see what happens. I'll end up having to take too much apart just to get the wires out. So the wires are out and now we have the string tied off at the top of the frame here and that is basically a guide now. It, it should help us to get the, the new wires back through but if nothing else if nothing else it is a guide to show us where they where they had to go. So we're clear now. All I want to do now is get clean as much as the, of the road grime off as, off as I can before I actually undo all those bolts and then this will pull out and it will be quite hard to pull because there's a lot of magnetism pulling it back in so you do have to be a bit forceful with it to get it out but first of all I want to make sure there's no crap around it to Probably not a bad idea to do that. Certainly not a bad idea. Okay, so that's that's our wires for the stator, for the replacement stator. Now, the reason I've let the trike over like this is to get the oil into the other side of the engine. You can pretty much do the same with a bike you just have to lie it over and either lie it down carefully on some tires or something or just lean it over as much as you can so you can get the oil over to the other side of the engine it just saves you having, I mean you'll probably want to do an oil change after you've done it anyway right here's a little tip I always find useful you've got different size bolts in each of these and if you're only doing it the once the chances are you won't remember where all those bolts go so what I do is just draw out a rough shape like that decide which bolts gonna be bolt number one I'm gonna call that one there bolt number one and then go one two three along the top two three four five down the side four five six at the bottom six seven eight nine seven eight and nine right so now you've got a little diagram there of the bolts so we're starting with number with bolt number one which is an eight mil Starting with bolt number one. Also, certainly on the 800, I'm, I'm not sure on the 1400, I don't think so on the 1400, but on the 800, there is one of these bolts that has an O ring on it because it has an oil feed. So 
important to remember I just need to make these holes a little bit wider taking off you can do this so there we go I pushed my first bolt through there he is through the hole I've made those holes a little bit big but it doesn't matter they'll still hold in place so when you've got that you've got your arrangement there put those to one side so you don't kick them all over the floor so that you've loosened the seal. Hopefully I can remove this without ruining the gasket, but I think I've got a new gasket if necessary. If not, I'll just have to order one. The stator will come off. All the bolts. The stator will come off with the panel. Like I said, there is strong magnetism on the prize it. But there are one or two places where you can actually get to the edge of the casing where there's where you're not actually compromising the flange. And the one thing you don't want to do ruin your flange. see which way round the cogs go there is only one way it's the hollow side in first this cog with the double cog on goes at the bottom and that's your starter motor there and he goes with the hollow side facing that way and you can tell when they're in right because the two cogs will be in mesh if you've got them the wrong way round they'll they'll be half out so that's that's our stator the same one hopefully it will be 